Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today we're gonna look into and see if we have any casualties um, We might have uh, The bunker this is on the bunker project uh, The humidity down there was extremely high and I fished out all these three tiny PCs from down there There is these two CD-ROM drives and there is even rust on the connectors of the of the CD-ROM drive even though they are kind of <laughs> in a golden color so yeah it uh, does not look that great I actually opened these up uh, all three of them the three machines down here uh, together with my patrons a few weeks back and it didn't look as if there was any damage inside I couldn't see anything so um, yeah today we're gonna try and uh, just power them up and see if there is any life to be found so i might also check what's actually in them that might be beneficial for uh, to figure out what i've what i've put in it maybe um, put a piece of tape on top of it and write how much ram hard drive and cpu there is in it so that might be good also i fished out oh it's pretty dark in here uh, my tiny little monitor here and that was all wet and stuff I've had all of this equipment sitting on uh, on top of radiators so um, hopefully they if any moist had gone into them they will have dried out so I'm gonna this one works perfectly well that hasn't been in the bunker yet so we're gonna put that to the side and then we're gonna try and power up one by one and see uh, See how they are. So these two CD-ROM drives doesn't matter as much. Uh, nobody uses CD-ROM drives anymore. Oh. Most don't. So I've taken the other one away. So on the back there's nothing to see kind of. Uh, there's a Windows 7 license in Danish. Yeah. Um, yeah, we should just plug that in and see if 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 anything is okay or if it. Oh, I see that this one has a different power connection. Why is that? This is a ninety-two M ninety-two. So okay, I need to find some other power for that. Okay, a different power brick with the round connections. Um, the newer ones uses this one and the newest ones uses uh, USB-C I believe so yeah we're gonna pop this one in I think this Mickey Mouse connector Mickey Mouse connector is the same okay so we have the power sorted so that can go in there oh the screen cable is a bit short helpful oh I do also have a network connection I don't think it's not needed right away let's just keep that to the side let's power this on and see what happens okay it lights up it complains or beeps there sounds like it has a spinning disk I'm not sure about that oh, so okay so it has Windows Windows 7 Enterprise I don't remember ever installing an Enterprise version of Windows 7 hmm, interesting It does not like the keyboard. That's odd. Okay, after yet a reboot, the keyboard is um, it's okay with the keyboard again. Okay, the operating system on that is uh, was not something that I had installed, so um, I didn't have access to the 
company where this uh, machine came from. So, uh, but I still want to figure out what what is in here. Oh, so we have a CPU. Uh, we have some RAM. So this is nothing special. It's a i3 3220T and it has four gigabytes of RAM. So I'll make a label for that. <clears throat> there that is uh, i3 and the CPU and the RAM and I believe it has a 320 gigabyte um, spinning disk. So I'm gonna put that label on there and I don't need to take it apart to check it next time but uh, as far as I see the machine is working and hasn't been updated since uh, 2013 not sure how many updates there is for an old machine like this but yeah oh maybe we can get some more hard drive information no okay I think we're just gonna claim success on that one. We um, we have a working machine even after months in the humid bunker. Next one, this one booted up, and apparently I have messed around with the ESXi on that one. Maybe I have messed around with it. Maybe someone else has borrowed it and messed around with it. I don't know. We will know in a bit. Yeah, this one I haven't done. I had this one borrowed out to my, uh, one of my students and uh, we upgraded it to 16 gigabytes of RAM and he borrowed this machine for his, um, for his exam. So um, it more or less has everything we need right there. Uh, might need to go and check what hard drive it has but I can most definitely get started on my label because we have the, the i3 processor there and we have the, the RAM. So, yeah, cool, and this is ESXi host number two, and it has an IP number down there that I usually don't use. Trying to get into the BIOS, yep, that worked, and um, this one is an ThinkSender M93. So what hard drive do we have in this one? We have a SanDisk. I think this is a 128 gigabyte sand disk, so uh, SSD. So, okay, and this looks promising as well. It looks like it works just perfectly. So, uh, 128 SSD. So that machine is also in working condition. Very nice. I'm not gonna do a whole lot to them. I do wonder if. Yeah, this the the firmware on this is ever so slightly newer, so that's that's good. Okay, so I must admit this is actually more success than I was anticipating. I was pretty sure that some of these machines would have suffered in the coal of the bunker, but apparently they're still able to work. So let's power this one on. Let's see if it's three out of three. Not complaining or beeping. It's though not showing anything on this. Oh, there it is. Another Windows machine. Ah, uh, another Windows Seven Enterprise. Okay. Same story. This um machine I haven't messed with it since I got it so it's um, yeah we have <laughs> it only has two gigabytes of memory that's a bit on the low side and it has the same 128 gigabytes sand disk so uh, yeah this isn't uh, particularly good but we have um, put a label on each of them so that I can remember what's in these beasts. They're really not. This one is probably rather slow. These two are slow-ish and this one has not a lot of RAM. This one is pretty okay. That would be fun to play with. Um, 
I expect all of them are going back into the bunker and we are probably going to be putting some prox mocks on them at some point. So this monitor didn't look good uh, out there. Um, it has a it has a USB to uh, to 12 volt power cable here, and um, I have no idea. So let's let's try and put some power onto this. See if this machine will power it. If I put in the correctly, it doesn't power up. No. <clears throat> Maybe a battery in it. I do have batteries that fits in it. Okay, we got power on it. So, oh, and it actually, that's not too bad. So, then we have a connection that goes, it converts the VGA connection to an HDMI connection. So we should be able to remove this one from the computer Oops. and put this one in. And that one needs power as well though. So do we have a spare? I'll just steal the mouse. We are in bias, we don't need a mouse. Any signal? Yes! Okay, this is unexpected. I was not I was not expecting this monitor to have survived. So the power cable, we lost that one though. Where did that go? That oh I could have I could have stood on this power. So apparently this one does not give out 12 volts anymore. So but the rest of the system looks perfectly okay. It even shows me how much power is on the battery up here. I've never seen that before. So that needs a charge. Huh, that was really unexpected. I must admit, I, I was not counting on that working at all. Okay, um, I, I, I wanted to check this 12 volt uh, USB cable again which is right now powering the little monitor here because I thought that was weird. Um, so I took it down to the basement and checked it out. And I, I, well, we can turn it off. Took a little bit of sandpaper and I scraped off. There was a little bit of, of stuff on the connections in there. So I cleaned it up a little bit. And then, um, well, I have one of these little power meters for USB that you can connect a USB to and then it will forward it and it will measure the power coming out of it. So it shows the voltage that is coming out of the machine here. At the moment it's 5.06 volts. As soon as I, and then it, it counts the, the milliamp hours that has been drawn off. I think we can reset that. There, let's reset. So now we can connect this and the monitor starts up and the voltage drops considerably because of course the monitor up there is drawing some power and the, well the, the tiny Lenovo machine here might have ever so slightly difficulties powering this monitor it seems like it it's drawing one amp one amp five volts so it's not a huge amount of power it's like five watts uh, a little bit more than 5 watts, well, 4.8 volt times 1 amp, it's about 5 watts, it's not, it's okay, but nevertheless, it seems that the cable still works, it was just corroded, so uh, yeah. I uh, also had this fan sitting in the bunker, and uh, I have charged it up, I just want to do Put it in here so we can see that it's fully charged okay now it actually takes in a little bit of power it takes in 0 0.36 amps 
but that was, I really just wanted to check if it worked uh, after all this time, so let's try and power that. On one, on two, on three, now what is that? I've never tried that setting. Apparently that powers it on and off all the time. That's uh, very annoying. Like that. It's, it has lost some stabilization. I don't know if you can see that, but it's... So, yeah. I have cleaned this up a little bit. It was um, really filthy. Yeah, there is a there's a tiny battery in there somewhere. Uh, in the bottom here, I need to. Um, one of these feet has fallen off, and it's actually sitting outside. I need to put that back on. Uh, we should we should do that. Get get it done. I also dug this one out of the out of the bunker, and I was just gonna tell you that it works perfectly fine. Well, apparently. Uh, the connections inside of here has also gotten a bit corroded, so maybe uh, I'll show you what I did with the other one. The tiniest little piece of sandpaper, really meant for metal, and it just fits in in here and just just. <sighs> okay, now that it's now that I'm showing it, it doesn't work as well. That's uh, that's how that goes. Let's see if that wasn't an improvement. Yep, way better. Sandpaper. Order now. Okay, the fan is back up. It has gotten its. Uh, uh, it doesn't look that great anymore, but. I glued it on with some super glue, so hopefully it's gonna be okay. So, ah. this fan is kind of cool uh, in the regard that it opens up like this, so it doesn't take up a lot of space, and then it unfolds, becomes really long. So, uh, ah, I'm even having difficulties showing you how long on the camera. So, yeah. Yeah, and it works perfectly well, so that's one thing that survived. Um, the power bank that I had in the data center, that did not survive. You're gonna get an entire video on me trying to repair that. Uh, I didn't do a very good job of cleaning it. Yeah, that's gonna be next week or something like that. Uh, maybe. Uh, but yeah. Uh, on top of that, I've actually just ordered RAM blocks for uh, the two little computers with, with not 16 gigabytes of memory. The maximum amount of memory to put in these tiny machines is 16 gigabytes on these older models. Newer models can of course take more RAM, but I ordered some some uh, 8 gigabyte blocks for, for two of them. Which, which two? Oh, that is actually the two. So, uh, yeah, we're getting some more RAM from her. I'm not going to test these CD-ROM DVD drives. I don't really care if they work or not. So, uh, yeah. So this video became a bit shorter than I was expecting. I wasn't expecting everything to just work. Uh, well, with, with minimum effort. I had that power cable that didn't work very well. And I had the little lamp that didn't, but everything else was just fine. So, uh, yeah, um, you're gonna get another video on the bunker Friday. So, uh, yeah, this is in bunkers week, and uh, I'm not gonna ruin it for you. I'm gonna, you're gonna have to watch Friday what we do in the bunker. It um, has a lot of sparks in there, but I'm not gonna reveal anything more than that. So, thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again, and have a really nice day. Bye bye.